CDL monitoring, we're going to do a video on uh, showing how uh, monitoring, an active monitoring system is working so we can uh, go and find a leak out in the woods. So this is a pretty big system, but uh, the red ones are low on vacuum. Um, I've already checked a few of the vacuum out, but so this L9 is at zero inches, so it's frozen most likely. Um, so we're gonna go check that line um, as well as a few others. So at zero, we should be able to find hopefully some frost or uh, something on the line. Um, we've got another one down here, R29, which is at just under five inches of vacuum. Um, we'll check that one as well and uh, a few others. And once we get to them and, and uh, we'll, we'll start another video um, to show you what we found. So in this video, um, we're actually going to go find R29. Um, that's the, the main line we're gonna go find leaks on. Right now we're gonna use the app to find that sensor. Actually type it in on the top. Click on it, it's at 4.9 inches. Um, and on the bottom here, it shows that we're 288 feet away. Um, and we can actually follow that arrow as we start walking and you'll see that number go down. Um, so if you ever had anybody in your woods that doesn't know where the line is or doesn't know how to get to it, they can actually follow it using the GPS on uh, the CDL app. Um, just to show you how the app's working, um, it says we're seven feet away um, and the sensor's right here, so it's uh, pretty accurate. Also, I'll show you another feature if we go to the map on here. Just gonna zoom in. can actually see where we are standing in re relation to the sensors. Um, so it helps you navigate through the woods a little better. Um, you can see the blue, the blue icon there is us. And uh, the red is the sensor that we're uh, checking for leaks on. So we're still on R29. Um, we walk the line. We didn't see any ice on the saddles like we we're hoping for, but we did, uh, we found some lines that were all, the whole 5 sixteenths was full. And then uh, the one below them was empty. Um, then we walked up the line and we found these uh, squirrel chews. You can see in the video. Right here and right here. So the next sensor we're gonna go check for leaks on is gonna be L09. So we're gonna type that in on the CDL app. So that one is reading zero inches um, and on the bottom you can see that we are 1650 feet away um, so we're gonna go to that sensor and then we'll go check that line um, for leaks so this is line zero nine um, like 40 degrees out right now and we just saw this tree down on the line so it created a sag in the line and then the sap froze in it. Um, that's how uh, easy it was to find this one. We're probably only a couple hundred feet from the end of the, the main line. So uh, get a look at the map now that we uh, went and found those uh, two issues on those lines. Mm -hmm. R29 right here. Um, that's the first one we found with the squirrel chew. Um, we're getting 27.91 inches now at that line, um, so that one's good. Um, L9, it's still uh, still froze underneath that tree, um, but what I'm going to do on here is I'm just going to make an icon as a reminder as uh, to what what's wrong with that uh, with that line. Place that there. Turn it into a tree. 
We'll just call it tree down. 200 feet from top. And as you can see, we got a lot more green now. Um, this sugar maker actually has a group of uh, three people out in the woods that are uh, in this area working on uh, fixing leaks. Earlier, um, they had some red over here. Um, it looks like they fixed the issues.